name is Susie and today we're going to be packing with me for my trip to Barcelona. I'm going for a girls trip with my girls from school. You guys would have seen them on the channel already before. There's going to be a vlog. You are not ready. I am not ready. These clothes are not ready. I've just chucked together a bunch of pieces onto my bed and I'm so excited to sit and make some outfits with you all. First thing is something that I 100% know I'm going to be bringing and I haven't actually worn it yet. I got this from a charity shop the other day. Hello. This is such a cute little fairy prairie cardi. I might as well try it on for you. It's like half mohair, half acrylic. And I washed it the other day in fab... Oh my lord. It's literally shedding buckets. That's not good. That is not good. Oh my god, it's really creased as well. Bloody hell, this is really not off to a good start. I think it's going to look so gorgeous with a white prairie skirt basically a full white outfit and you have this on top a really nice chunky white necklace and i think it'll be a good layer to bring around with me at night time so i think i am going to bring it i'm terrified about it shedding in my suitcase i think to go with that i guess i could wear my holly berry prairie skirt this is my favorite thing right now i love the fact that it's got an elastic waist so i can wear it low waisted if i want to and i think these sorts of skirts just suit so much when they are like dead down on the hips, like really, really low waisted with a really nice like tight kids baby tee or a bikini top if you're on the beach, that type of thing. Like I love these skirts so much and she is coming with me and I think I'm going to wear these as my airport trousers. I think they're just such a good basic. I showed them in my last summer haul, you may remember them. Now onto some two pieces. This year I really want to wear a lot of cohorts and two pieces. I think they're just a really easy go-to piece where you want to look put together. This one I've been waiting to wear for about a year now. From Vinted I bought this Gusto Barcelona dress and Sydney Carlson wore it to Coachella this year and as soon as I saw her in it I was like why have I not been wearing this piece? And I basically cut them apart because the fit of it on me just was not it. I knew I had to separate them to make it be more flattering. This is the top very gusto obviously the brand is like a barcelona based brand so it kind of just feels fitting me wearing it in barcelona as well and this is the mini skirt it was too big for me but yesterday i sewed a zip down the side i feel like can you see that it's probably not the best sewing job i've ever done but it will do and i did it so that it can sit really nice and low waisted and i think this would just be such a good beach cover up as well because it is quite a skimpy mini skirt you know what I mean? But I think over a bikini, it's going to look lovely. And in my festival outfits video, I wore it over, where is it? This linen skirt, which I think I do want to bring with me because I just got back from a trip from Italy and I didn't bring it with me. And I'm trying to pick up pieces that I didn't bring on that trip to wear this trip. So it kind of gives all the pieces in my wardrobe some love. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it's this skirt's moment to shine. And I wore it over this skirt and I absolutely love the way that looks and because of the pink panel up here like come on the color coordination it just works and I think this is a really really cute look and I think to be fair that is an outfit I like this a lot I'm gonna pack all three of these the next two-piece set you are not ready I'm too excited okay do we remember this skirt? It's from the Depop shop, Sophia and Found. The details on the side, like it's all just perfect. And I was already gonna bring this with me. And then Sophia messaged me this week and she said, you will not guess what I just found. The matching jacket. Are you kidding me right now? Like, are you actually kidding me? I am speechless. This jacket is everything, even in itself. I probably look like a freak wearing it with this outfit right now. Oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, why do I actually not hate this together? Like, why is this a look? I'm mainly thinking about nighttime looks here with Barcelona, I think, and are you joking me? Now, you may be thinking as well, Susie, how are you going to make this outfit even better? Obviously, a pair of shoes, and this is where the sponsors of today's video comes in, La Moda. La Moda has graced me and my trip to Barcelona by letting me pick out five pairs of their vegan shoes. They're a UK based alternative chunky like platform shoe wear brand. They instantly come to mind when I think of like crazy out there chunky shoes and I had so much fun scouring the website. These are my new La Moda shoes and you do not understand the excitement. What are the chances that the first pair I pick out I think are the ones that I had in mind to wear with this outfit? Okay. 
These are the slick necks. <gasps> this is too good to be true. I always love this style of boot where it's kind of like a go-go boot, but in a more modern silhouette. Yeah, these are exactly what I imagined when I thought of this outfit. I just know they're gonna look so good together. And I think that's because mini skirts always look so good with long black boots. And I feel like these, you can see that they kind of go out at the leg a bit. So I feel like they're just gonna look so flattering. I actually do love it when long boots have a little bit of leg room and you can kind of see the boot and then your leg. I think it's just a really flattering fit. I don't even wanna wait to try on. I just actually wanna try it on right now, hold on. Yeah, this is everything that I imagined when Sophia messaged me about this jacket. I just instantly thought of these shoes and are you kidding me? I love this so much. Also, this is so comfortable. I was a little bit apprehensive about getting boots with such a high heel, which Lamoda do so well because I cannot walk in heels. But I'm being 100% honest here, these are easy. I feel so secure in these, they're really comfy. I feel like I know these are just gonna be my favorites as well. Okay, on to the next one. I'm also gonna get out of this because I'm actually sweating in this jacket. These are the Different Days knee-high boots. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, these are a little bit different because they don't have like a heel. They're all like the same height and I just know these are going to be so comfy. I thought the other ones were comfy. I just know these are going to be so comfy as well. And they've got this shirling detail on the top of them, which I just thought was a really nice detail for as we come into autumn. Just looking here, right, my kilt, which I think I want to pack with me. I just know these are going to go so well together and I feel like the shirling detail would just be a really nice texture with like the thick wool from the skirt. And the vegan fur goes all the way down inside the shoe. I did not expect that. You just know that's gonna keep you very, very warm for the upcoming cold months. Yeah, I really see these working so well with my tartan kilt. Next up, these are the mentally wired chunky platform sandals. These are a big fat wild card for me. You might be like, Susie, what is going through your head? But I want an occasion wear shoe. I didn't want to just get black boots very classic in my comfort zone i wanted to get something out there to really push myself outside my comfort zone oh my lordy look at these these are really reminding me of like a 70s style shoe with that curve on the heel and it automatically reminds me of daphne from scooby-doo i cannot be the only one it's also got this square pointed toe which is always just such a flattering fit very on trend right now i just really really like these and i think they're going to be a really good statement occasion wear shoe also i used to be the biggest hater of the color purple did not like the way it looked on me at all and then i bought that purple ballet leotard and i keep getting so many compliments about the color on me and it just made me think that maybe i would be too harsh on purple and i was overlooking it so i got these to join the purple club in my collection and i feel like they're actually gonna go really really nicely with that leotard and i was considering bringing that to Barcelona with me but I get sweat patches guys and I think in that Barcelona heat they will be monumentous and I just cannot put myself through that social embarrassment just yet so okay the last pair these are the tear them up chunky platform high ankle boots oh my god maybe I want to bring these to Barcelona instead they've got that classic chunky like zigzag sole do I say that there's probably correct terminology for it but I do not know then they've got that elastic detail down the front and they're so different from boots I have my wardrobe and the slick nicks in particular and also the other black boots as well I feel like it's just a really nice um, extra piece to have I think the tear em ups might be my favourite from all of the collection I will have all the links to the shoes in the description as well as their website and you can use code SUSIELOLA30 for 30% off your order thank you so much for Lamoda for sponsoring today's video I now want to see what outfit I'm going to pair with these shoes because I think I actually do want to bring these with me now. <laughs> this is my favourite corset. She makes everything look good, if you know what I mean. It's a vintage piece from Vintage Paradise. Um, the brand is H&M. Okay, that kind of surprised me. Obviously, no one is surprised I'm going to bring my bloomers. These are my favourite things. I will link them in the description. I got them off eBay. They are just so amazing and I think they're just such a good piece to have as an accessory and they scrumple up so small in your suitcase. I might as well bring them anyway. And I just know that these are going to look so good together because of that lacy white detail on the corset. They also go so well under dresses too. So I think I want to bring 
some Omighty pieces in general with me, but particularly this, this hibiscus print gradient mesh dress. Look at that, I think it will be such a good beach cover up and it is a little bit short, so putting these bloomers underneath it will be perfect. I'm really in my dress era right now, which never used to be me. Baggy jeans all the way, would never like to wear skirts or dresses, but here we are, guess I've changed. This dress is from Expired Girl. I showed it on my Instagram, I showed it in my last haul and I'm obsessed with it and I cannot wait to get a good occasion to wear this dress so I thought I might as well bring it with me to Barcelona. It is also a little bit short so I feel like these are going to come in very handy to wear underneath. Another night out piece I want to bring is this dress from New Lagoon. I bought this at their pop up I think last summer and I've never worn this out which feels really really criminal because it's such a fun piece in my wardrobe. It's got the cow neck detail, look at that. I know it will look good with bloomers underneath it. Loads of layered necklaces. Also, obviously, with a chunky statement belt. Belts have been my thing at the moment. I like to wear them with everything. A dress like this, if you're wearing it on a night out, you need a little bit of shine. And this is my fake Vivian Westwood zebra print belt that I picked up from um, Cow Vintage. Even with these trousers, I just love it. Like belts are my favorite accessory right now. I think they're so fun on holiday. Speaking of kilts, I am kind of tempted to bring my kilt with me. I know it's big and it's heavy and it's thick. And I haven't checked the weather yet, but I just know it's gonna be hot, especially even in the evenings. I might utterly regret bringing this with me. But I just absolutely love wearing kilts in the summer. To be fair, this kilt, I feel like it would suit my new star top from Omighty. I absolutely love this top and when they're like this stretchy cotton I feel like they're really good when it's hot. It's not uncomfortable, not itchy or anything so actually that is really cute and you know what this is making me think of this picture on Pinterest where this girl's wearing this red tartan skirt and but I don't know why just looking at this together really reminds me of that picture and that picture is always in the back of my head when I want to wear a kilt so you know what I think I'm gonna pack it. Okay, my bikinis are staring me in the face and I love bikinis, so let's just have a moment for the bikinis. I think I wanna bring this one, which I showed in my shopping for summer outfits video. This is originally from Accessorize and I found it on Vinted. And because that looks so good in the thumbnail of that video, if I do say so myself, with the Gina Corrieri sleeves, I feel like I need to bring these as well. And I did wanna bring a pair of sleeves with me on this trip because they're my favorite thing to wear. Yeah, we're doing it. I definitely want to bring my purgatory camo set. I do have the matching slides, which would be the obvious thing to bring with me, but I don't think I want to bring them. I think I want to wear Crocs instead. I feel like people are very divided on Crocs. I'm such a Crocs person though. These are my Crocs. What do we think? There's zebra print. I've got a Paul Frank gibbet and a Bugs Bunny gibbet. Very cute. I want to bring these because we're going to be going to the beach and I can also go in the sea in these if I want to, so yeah. They're coming with me. These, I don't even want to give these airtime because I talk about them in what feels like every video at this point. I've been converted into a superstars girl this year. I literally used to make fun of my best friend for wearing these every day in school and in sixth form thinking they were the ugliest, most basic shoe ever. And here I am a few years later telling everybody how great they are. Um, these are just so comfy and I know they're gonna look really good with these, which I'm obviously gonna wear to the airport so I feel like I gotta bring these with me. Right, back to the bikinis. My peachy den one, I've gotta bring it with me. I love everything about this. And I just got it, so I really wanna wear it loads. This zebra print one, this is from American Apparel originally, but I found it on Depop. Honestly, American Apparel did amazing swimwear and you can always find it on eBay, Depop Vinted, and they're often really good prices as well. This green one, the color is gorgeous and it looks so good with a tan. I found this in a market in Antigua and it's got little shells on it. It's adorable. Also another mismatched top. This one is actually from the kids section. I think I found it on Vinted or eBay years and years ago and it's got little daisies on it. Oh, you joking me? And little fun bikinis like this, I think are really nice to lay it up as tops. So a top I'm 100% gonna bring with me is my new Minky Dink, Minka Dink, Minky Dink, little like cottage core wrap. This is perfect, the epitome of like a summer piece to me, and it's become such a staple in my summer wardrobe. With this, adorable, and with like a little skirt or something, maybe even a tie. Maybe I do wanna bring a tie with me. This little pinstripe top, now that I look at this, I was considering reading this. I think this is a nice piece because it looks really good in the daytime as well as the nighttime, and I think, with this tie, like, 
that is kind of nice like I know they're not exact color match but but I really like that and I think that's actually that's an outfit okay now I'm just planning an outfit around this corset I already love this outfit this skirt is from Abby C Pop it's coming with me I know I'm gonna get stains on it I'm probably gonna regret bringing it for that reason but it's so cute look at this and I love the way that all the fabric falls you guys know I'm so into asymmetrical stuff and this is my favorite skirt right now maybe even these which I'm gonna check the weather if it's not as hot as I think it might be I might bring these these are some cargoes from Celia Pop shop they just look so good and they're just a really nice basic to have and to be honest now that I'm here thinking about it maybe I should wear these to the airport instead a good travel piece as well as just like a cool piece to have so you know what they're coming with me and I think now I'm thinking about it I want to wear this traveling this is from CU Studios and it's my favorite ribbed vest top right now the quality is so good it's really really thick okay something that I really want to bring but I feel like people need to talk me out of bringing is my action man shirt <laughs> I really like this and I completely forgot that I had it and I went home and I found it and I was like oh my god why is this not in my permanent wardrobe this is everything um, and I'm really seeing it look kind of cute, but I don't really know where it would fit into these outfits. Am I crazy to think this would actually be a vibe? Maybe with like a bikini top underneath so it's a little bit more cute. Chunky necklace, one of the black boots from La Moda. Is this a vibe? Guys, this was from my um, vintage kid section era and I was literally obsessed. Talking about weird kind of like 2000s boys clothes my board shorts do i bring these do i not i really don't know i think i need to be realistic about will i want to be seen out in public in these i'm not too sure but i absolutely love the colors on these like the baby pink detail is so nice and i think it's just a fun piece to have and i can go swimming in them if i want to they would be a good beach piece to bring so i'm very tempted i'm just envisioning this with my crocs with this as well like Susie what are you doing like that is an outfit and not in the best way do you know what I mean we're gonna maybe see if there's some extra room pack them at the last minute also this piece this I never wear which is such a shame because it's such a gorgeous piece it's this crochet bralette and I got it on sale at opening ceremony years and years ago and it's so nice I think it'll be such a good festival kind of piece with a prairie skirt do you think it would work with my holly berry skirt i know this is red and like obviously this is blue but what do we think about that i kind of like that as like a daytime beachy outfit i think i want to bring my fray mckee knit top i think this would be such a fun piece to wear out and i do not wear it enough oh my god yeah it goes perfectly with the kilt this is meant to be now i know what i'm gonna wear with that kilt i think it would also go well with this belt i think that would be really really nice with the kilt yes i want to wear that outfit now okay some accessories am i crazy for wanting to bring a beanie i know it's going to be hot but i think if i wear a strategic outfit where i'm not too warm on the bottom like it it would work and i just i'm such a sucker for a beanie even in the summer now that i look at it this with the belt with the frame a key top with the kilt are you kidding me i see the vision it's all black and red and i absolutely love it and it's got shiny diamonds on it. This is from Race Worldwide, by the way. Um, I'm packing it. The visions are really coming through today. The Celia Pops Cargos as my airport bottom. The CU Studios top. Come on, are you joking me right now? That is a cute airport outfit. I'm also leaving really, really early in the morning. So it's going to be cold probably in London. And it's probably going to be raining as well. So I feel like that with a beanie is exactly what i need that is all the excuse that i need to bring a beanie with me oh my god this is brilliant okay some sunglasses i think i want to bring my new sub sun ones i really like these i think they're a really fun piece and they go with quite a lot of the color palettes that i'm sort of bringing with me which is nice my all-time go-to's will always love these if they ever break i will 100 percent be buying them again these are from jimmy fairly they go with everything i love the tortoise shell they're just a really cute like vintage sort of frame so i think i want to bring these with me i think i also want to bring my new pink leg warmers oh my this is too much this i haven't re this is making me so excited for my trip oh my god are you joking me right now this smile like i'm just so ready for this trip oh my god 
Oh my god. Get in my suitcase right now. I'm really having my baby pink kind of like ballerina moment right now. And now that I'm looking at this tie that's pink, say no more. This skirt is another summer staple of mine. It's like a rara skirt. I found it at a charity shop, but it's originally from and other stories. Great at the beach, and I think they're also really fun on a night out. It also looks really, really nice with this corset that I got off Depop. There's like a vintage lingerie piece. Like they look so sweet together, and I can just imagine some pink necklaces, pink ribbons in my hair. Like that is a look. So maybe that's going in as well. Do you see this pile of clothes here? I need to actually re-go through everything and realize like what is actually realistic for me to bring and what's not, but I'm so excited for this trip now. And I think I've actually got some really cute outfits planned. So follow me on my Instagram if you don't already, and my TikTok as well, if you wanna see these outfits in action and what we get up to. Like I said before, I will also be vlogging the trip to Barcelona. So get ready for that. I can't wait for the chaos. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and I will see you in my next video.